and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today is the same day as I made all this mess. Yes, this is straight after the live stream and um, I want to have a play with a couple of the colours that we used today. Um, but I just want to try something that I don't know if I've tried before. So I've grabbed this record. It's, as you can tell, maybe it's scratched to here come back. It is, was given to me by a record collector who was going to put it in the dump. So let's pour some paint. Um, I'm gonna reuse my, we're gonna do a, a dog potty flush again, but we're going to do it slightly different this time. Um, <clears throat> last time in the live stream I did a bed of white, and I'm really glad I did, because <clears throat> for that painting, it really worked. Um, but I'm only going to put two other colours into this painting. And that is the Viridian Hue, which, as you saw in the live, hopefully you saw the live, um, has got some lumps in it. And I just, I'm like, I don't like lumps, but I want to play. So I'm going to play. Uh, I'm just going to do a, the Viridian Hue, which is kind of a green, um turns a bit minty so and that's bronze so my toilet roll is about a centimeter from the top and i'm just going to flush the loo There's no silicon in the bronze. The white is my house paint. And I'm just gonna see what happens. I, I pour I poured my paint into the white from up high so that there was some pressure going down, forcing that paint down into the into the white. And let's see what happens. I haven't used my house paint in this manner before i've only ever used it as a um as a base so and as i said there's no silicon in the bronze so you can see there how close to the top i got maybe it wasn't a centimeter anyway lots of air bubbles which tends to happen when you pour from up high but that's okay. If we pop those now, they'll just look like cells. <laughs> when you're using your flame torch, just keep it up high and keep it moving. All your target is is to warm the paint so that it sort of allows the silicon to rise up to the top. For those of you that haven't watched my live stream, um, I use Reeves Fine Artist Acrylic, um, not the intro stuff, and I put Floetrol and water in to thin it down, and the silicon that I use to make the cells is Durex Play Perfect Glide, which is 100% dimethicone. Um, let's tilt now as you can see this record is a bit bendy <laughs> but it's an experiment see those lumps what happens when you're stretching a painting? There's a lump. 
and you've got lumps in it it creates like a a wall in the painting and distorts your shapes and sometimes that creates quite fun and funky things other times not so much and it depends on whether you want to dig them out and make little messes digging them out or oh, there's an even bigger lump under there or let it distort but just be aware that when you look at all the air in that that's amazing um when you leave lumps in and let it dry you will end up with little mountains in the middle of your painting you won't have a smooth finish to your painting So we do have some bronze coming through. much air in this it's amazing oh but we're getting cells too okay this is cool we've got the big cells and then we've got little ones coming up through now for those of you that are struggling to get cells i do have a playlist on my channel um how to get called how to get cells and it's there's several different things that i mention in there um the consistency of your paint how much you stir the silicon in uh but what i've found a lot of people don't realize is they get their cells but then they overstretch them and they become distorted and they don't look like cells anymore so if you're getting that problem you may actually not have enough paint on your canvas to and you're overstretching your paint so just um there's so many different reasons um and there's so many different recipes just don't make yourself wrong enjoy what you do create and keep playing if it is your target to get cells just keep playing and sometimes people torch when it's really really thick and the silicon's down the bottom and it's not getting warmed so there's lots of lots and lots and lots of reasons I'm quite pleased with that. It's not one of my best, but it was fun. And that to me is the target is to, for me to have fun. If you've If you're not having fun, why are you doing it is my question. Let's have a look at this close up. Now, I don't know whether this is 
my phone or whether it's my camera or what but what I'm seeing is almost a turquoise color where it's more mint so I'm intrigued to see what it comes out like when it's on my computer getting the colors to show clearly is not that easy all right Ta-da! I like it I do but it's still popping air it's so weird you may be wondering if you knew why I keep torching the air out um, you can end up when you've got tiny pinpricks of air you can actually end up with holes in your painting which is not my target that's for sure so when the paint shrinks it pulls back from the air bubble and makes that hole opens it up and you end up with little pinprick holes so the more you can get out before it dries the better talking of letting it dry i'm gonna let this dry and come back and show you the dry result no. once it's dry so here it comes in three two one it dried and it dried real pretty real fun and quite Christmassy if I may say so myself which I'm quite excited about because I have some funky stuff coming up with regards to decorating for Christmas what else is possible I like it I like it it's it's a pour you know but it's one of those things where you pour it and go not sure whether this one will work the thing that I was looking at with regards to this painting and what I was actually testing with this painting is can you see how the viridian hue if I can get it to there it is um, how it separates out like it just goes all grainy and it seems to do the same thing as what I've noticed some of my metallics do as well so and the bush is blowing in the wind <laughs> I'm not moving it it's the bush's fault it's actually the wind anyway I chose to put it out here so it is partly my fault I will accept responsibility but see how that the bronze has done it as well so it's kind of by combining these two colors what I was doing was taking two colors that both do that and saying look it's deliberate <laughs> um, not sure I'll sell this one as I say I think I might just use it as a Christmas decoration uh, so how does it get any better than this what grand and glorious adventures can we have I have been having lots of fun as I said in a previous video I am heading off today's Monday and I'm heading off on Thursday to Australia to the Sunshine Coast to lovely Noosa Heads uh, to play um, it's my annual facilitator training for the Access Consciousness Facilitators and um, that's I'm going to be away for, for a whole week so I've been 
doing lots and lots of creating, having lots and lots of fun playing with paint, and I get to share it all with you. How does it get any better than that? So, stay tuned. The next one's coming on Wednesday, although I don't leave until Thursday, but yeah, it'll be up on Wednesday. So if you don't want to miss out on any of those fun projects, please hit the subscribe button. If you there are still a few calendars left, if you're keen to get one of those, head on over to mickeyart.co.nz forward slash shop. Um, and what else? What else? What else? Great question. I'm not sure. <laughs> Uh, for those of you getting your diaries ready for the next Mickey Art Live, uh, that will be Sunday the 15th New Zealand time, so the 14th for many of you, Saturday the 14th. Uh, what else is possible? How much fun can we have? And if you want to join me on the live via video chat rather than via typing in the delayed time zone of the YouTube live you can join me with the Patreon oh. all right I think that's everything and the roads getting noisy so I'm gonna head inside and the birds are getting noisy too everybody's contributing to the video how does it get any better than that I adore you guys and I will see you well, you will see me in two days. Yay! How's it getting any better? Bye-bye!